Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name, worship you. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, help me to like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. That is a final decision that has been made by you. A final decision has been made by you. Hallelujah. Hear me very well, child of God. You will not go empty-handed. God is making this decision concerning you. For you who has been crying out unto the Lord, that the Lord should change his or her name. God is not sleeping. God is changing your name. The Bible says Jabez. There was a man called Jabez. And the Bible says he cried unto the Lord, If thou would just change my name. And the Lord heard unto him. When you go to the book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 26, the Bible says, Then the man said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And that consistency, that, 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 that strength that he has, say, never will I let you go. I am tired of this. I am tired of that situation. He persisted. He held on to God. Because of that, his name was changed. Say, you shall not be called Jacob anymore. For you shall be called Israel. You shall be called Israel. And the Lord changed his name. The Lord changed his name. Hallelujah. This person I'm talking to you right now, why God want me to speak to you is that you are tired of being consistent. Like you want to give up on being consistent. You want to divert your attention. You are like, well, I will still serve God, but I don't think I will have time the way I use time, the way I have time for him before. Don't make that mistake. You don't even know the battle that God has been fighting for you. When you have time for God, that does not mean that you cannot go about your daily needs. When you are doing your daily needs, <laughs> when you are then doing your daily job, you can still have time for God there. It is all about your spiritual mind. It is about how you worship God. It is about what you allow to possess your mind. When you are possessed with the word of God, when you carry this word of God, <laughs> you will realize that no matter where you find yourself, even in the market, there is always a reason for you to feel the presence of God. The presence of God does not depart from his people after they are prayed. No, the presence of God abide with them. It abide with them because it carried them through. That is the wind of God. It carries all through. So the presence go with us wherever we go. There are many of us who are soaking the Lord. They understand. Even when wherever they are, they are always in the presence of God. Why? Because the presence of the Lord is with them. Because the presence of the Lord is with them. Hallelujah. The final decision God is telling you. God is telling you. That which you have been knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking it is opening. One thing that you should know. You might be trying to push a door open. You push and push and push. When you push it yesterday, it did not open. You push today, it did not open. Tomorrow you push. You keep pushing. You carry things. You are hitting the door. You are hitting the door. You are hitting the door. One day, the door will break. Yes, the door will break. The door will break down. Don't let it feel like, oh, you have been knocking for so long. You have been knocking for so long. No. God has a decision concerning you. And that decision is that he will answer you. He will bless you. You will not miss your reward for your consistency. Don't allow the enemy to sweep you away when it is time for you to step into the manifestation of your testimony. I pray the joy of the Lord be your strength in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.